some of our most gut-wrenching fights for the rights of our people in relation to land and the ability of our people to develop and have employment and so on have been supported by Murdoch's papers solely. Not a word from the ABC, not a word from Fairfax. The Murdoch press has argued for our right not to live in poverty. And they've supported us in the fights. They've also supported justice for deaths in custody, the Mulrungi case in Palm Island. The, the Australian newspaper left every other outlet for dead in advocating Mulrungi's case in the death in custody at Palm Island. So I detect in Murdoch, and I've met him a number of times, I detect a basic Australian fealty to the Indigenous people. Um, there is a human being under the mogul. Mm. And, um, and I think that whatever he might do in the United States, his, um, his, uh, uh, the, the, the way in which he's um, influenced his outlets here in Australia, I, I can't be more thankful for uh, the support they give us in our causes. People might not agree with the causes I advocate, but they are causes about land rights, human rights, but also about welfare reform and economic development. We've got to have both. And we've got to combine those two things in, a, in an intelligent way because it can't just be that we, we live off um, uh, a leftist prescription and abandoning the rights prescription. We've got to bring the two together. I'll just give the final word on this to 